Hey everyone, it's John Isaias here from The Automator, and today we're going to show a little Outlook tip. If you're trying to automate Outlook, you might get this warning. Uh, it, this came up in our hero group where one of the users was having a problem getting this security warning, and, and one of our other clients, we had found it too, but the other client, didn't. he's like, ah, it doesn't really matter, I can just check the right. box. You want to show them the warning just so they know what we're talking about? Yeah, definitely. So right now, sometimes if you try to use a com object to connect to Outlook, basically was what was happening you would see sometimes this message that a program is trying to access the email address information stored in outlook and it would allow you access but it all only allows you access to for about 10 minutes nothing more now messing around with outlook we went ahead and found some options at the bottom where you go to trust center um, and here's one that says programmatic access which allows you to control that but <laughs> so it just happens that everything is kind of like grayed out so you cannot uh change this so the reason why the error shows up is usually because either you have a custom antivirus software like not the one that windows comes with um or you have disabled windows defender and don't have an antivirus and then outlook when it doesn't detect an antivirus tells you hey um somebody's trying to access you and you're not protected so let me warn you which is the default options that you cannot change so the way that you can do whatever what you can do to change this is if you are sure that you want to do that on your computer right. because yeah. i have to be sure about this one is uh that you will open outlook um, you go to Outlook, right click, run as administrator. And once the program is run as administrator, you go to uh, Trust Center again. And now you go to programmatic access. And now you can change this. Now, uh, here's the default when the antivirus software is inactive or out of date, which is what's probably happening. Um, but if you want, you can just go ahead and remove that about that particular uh, action. And that's it. You will not get this particular um, <laughs> box any longer. We were trying to solve that for our users, but uh, we didn't have the information available. But now I think we know how to change that. Yeah, so if you want to learn more about Automated Outlook, I got several videos here on it. We did a webinar. I'm going to have a lot of videos doing like mail merges and looping over your inboxes and moving files and automatically saving attachments, things like that. It's it's, it's there's a com object which is a complex com object or um yeah, I guess is the best way to say it, right? Is like right. there's a lot of options uh, but it's very powerful because you're programmatically connecting to access. So it's it's phenomenally fast, reliable, it's awesome. And it's great that we can do it with auto hotkey because it's so easy. But uh, there you it's, go. it's a bit of a learning curve as far as the if you're new to com objects. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. yeah, check it out. You know, if you're interested, sign up for our hero group. Um, this is where the member went in and just said, "Hey, has anyone run into this?" And so you know, we cranked yeah. out an answer really quickly. And it's just this is why it's really helpful to have a group of people you can reach out to and get some feedback. So check it out. There you go. Cheers.